Welcome to Dog Training with Gary Jackson. Gary Jackson is Australian born and is an internationally certified dog trainer with many years experience in all fields of dog training. Gary's expertise has emanated from his great rapport with many authorities from around the world, including the FBI, United States Police Departments and other countries law enforcement agencies. Gary also lectures extensively to universities, colleges and professional dog trainers. He trains in excess of 2,000 dogs per year and is an expert in solving dog behavioural problems. Gary has achieved worldwide publicity in dog training and has his own weekly television and radio show. His vast knowledge in dog training will help you achieve great results and a closer bond with your family dog. In the show ahead, Gary is going to take you through a simple step-by-step -step guide to basic obedience and behavioural problems. So sit back and enjoy Dog Training with Gary Jackson. Hello, I'm Gary Jackson. Over the next hour, I'll show you how to train your dog in basic obedience in under three hours, based on 10 minutes per day. I'll show you how to bait-proof your dog successfully and how to solve all your dog's behavioural problems with some great methods. A trained dog is a happy dog. Training will help develop a better relationship between you and your dog, a relationship based on trust, understanding and friendship. Before training your dog in basic obedience, it's important that you understand a few simple rules. First of all, under no circumstance should you ever hit your dog. By doing this, you'll cause a dog to be submissive and unsure of you, and it really won't benefit you or your dog at all. And secondly, under no circumstance should you yell or scream at your dog. By doing this, you'll find that the dog will become submissive to you and very unsure and also will be vocally dominated. Remember these obedience rules. One, never hit your dog. Two, don't yell or threaten your dog. Three, make every session happy and enjoyable for your dog. When you do your sessions with your dogs, do not go any longer than 10 minutes as a maximum and preferably around about 5 minutes. If you do a 20-minute session, then what will happen is that the dog will eventually make mistakes, he will lose his good attitude and he'll get distracted and you may even give him a couple of more corrections than what is necessary. Sessions of obedience should be under 10 minutes. Long sessions will do more harm than good. The dog will lose his good attitude. Now, a dog has no ability to reason at all. They learn through repetition. So you can't expect the dog to know the sit after two commands. It might take you 20 commands or 30 commands. So under no circumstance should you say sit twice to the dog, then give him a strong correction. You must be 100% clear that that dog understands that sit command before you can reinforce the exercise. Dogs cannot reason. They learn through repetition. Show the dog how to do the exercise many times before you use reinforcement or correction. Start training your dog in quiet areas with no distractions until the dog understands the exercises. The next question I hear you ask is, should I use a collar or a choke chain? Well, the choice is quite simply yours. By using a collar, you can get great results out of your dog, but if you have a boisterous dog, which is a strong character dog, I recommend that you use a check chain from there. Now, when you place a check chain on the dog, hold the ring at the base of the check chain and pass the chain straight through the ring like so. Now, when placing it over the dog's head, make sure it is the shape of a letter P. Now, as that goes on the dog's head, when you walk beside the dog, it will release by itself so the check chain is always loose around the dog's head. Now, if you put it on like a Q shape, which is the wrong way, then it'll look like this. And when you give the dog a correction, it'll pull tight and remain tight and thus you are choking the dog. When putting the check chain on the dog, make sure the check chain is in the shape of the letter P. By placing the check chain on the wrong way, you risk choking the dog. Use a leather collar on soft character dogs. 
only use the check chain if the dog won't listen to you while training with a collar. This is Roxy the Border Collie. I've known Roxy for about two hours now. Under my evaluation, I found that Roxy is a very, very soft character dog and she's also vocally submissive. So if you raise your voice to her, she'll roll over on her back. We also found out that the dog is totally unsocialized to the rest of the world besides a family. And we do know that the last owners did mistreat Roxy and even punished her by hitting her with rolled up newspaper. Roxy is a totally untrained dog. And we're going to be using Roxy in the course of the obedience to demonstrate to you the full process from start to finish. Before we start any obedience, what we have to do is to make sure that she can sit calmly at your side. Now, the easiest way to do this is to make sure your feet are facing forward. Do not turn into the dog like so. So have your feet facing forward. You can hold the lead normally in heel position like handlebars on a bicycle. But in this exercise here, we're going to hold the lead right up near the buckle. Now, I'll move her around to the side. Pull up on the choke chain a little bit and push down on her hindquarters. Good girl, Roxy. Good girl. And praise her. That's okay, Roxy. Good girl. So this is the first part of the control is having the dog sit calmly at your side for approximately two or three minutes. She must be reliable here before you go on. Now, I'll give her a loose lead. She doesn't understand sit or anything like this, but she's quite content sitting there. If she does go to get up, then I will encourage her back into the sit position, but I will not correct by giving her a snap on the choker chain. At the moment, you can see that she's distracted by the things around us, including the ducks and other dogs running around the park. But in this position here, I can say, good sit, good sit. So she associates a praise word with the sit command. So I praise her, so she's very, very happy here. Good fella. Now, once the dog can sit here for different amounts of time, then you're ready to start off on your next step. But before you go to your next step, I recommend that you do this and then do the same exercise in different surroundings under different distractions. So this is the first point of control on your dog. Dog sitting calmly at your side. Isn't that right, Roxy? Hey, you're a good little girl. This exercise is a preliminary exercise before you actually start the formal healing. What we're going to do is that we're going to walk around anywhere in the area and every time the dog goes one direction, I'm going to turn around another direction. Now, in the first stages, she's going to hit the end of the lead, get that little correction, that little discomfort, and turn around and look at me. And after about four or five times of doing this, you'll find that every time I turn, the dog's going to turn around and look at me and say, oh, you're going that way now. And next thing, she'll start turning at her own free will and looking for you. And when she does that, give her a lot of praise and tell her she's a really good girl. So let's see how Roxy goes during this. Come on, Roxy. Hey, good fella. Good fella. Good fella. Come on. Come on. Hey, good fella. Good fella. Come on. Hey. Good fella. There. And see how she started to turn by herself then. Now everywhere I walk, she's um, now looking at me. Good girl. Good girl. And every time she looks up, I turn. And a little correction like this. Good fella. Come on. And encourage her every time she comes up close to me. And I turn again. She started to turn there. Hey, aren't you a good little girl? Aren't you a good fella? And it's also most important to continue the praise heavily. Every time she comes near, just praise her and tell her she's a wonderful girl. And that will encourage her a great deal and you'll also get a really good attitude. So let's do it one more time. Come on, little girl. Hey, I'll turn. Little correction there. Good fella. Good fella. Okay, turn again. Good fella. And now she's starting to turn around by herself. Come on, fella. Hey, you're a good girl. Come on. Hey, aren't you a good little girl? And we come to the stop, press down the hindquarters, push up on the check chain, and then immediately praise her. If she's looking down, just hold her head up high. Good fella. And that's the end of that exercise. And I highly recommend that you do that exercise probably about five to ten times before you actually start the formal heel and you'll notice a difference when you turn and the dog sees you turn and follows you without going to the end of the choker chain and getting that small correction. Give that a try and when you got that right then you're ready for your next step.